Hello and welcome to Sonic Producer. My name is Jay and I'm going to show you how to make a beat today with the Sonic Producer application. First of all, it's as easy as clicking on the sample button for the first track down here in the mixer. Click on the button where it says sample in yellow and a pop-up box will come up. Now the pop-up box contains all of your different sounds. All right. So the first thing to do is decide whether you want to start with drums or one of the instruments or something else like one of the combos or the chords. I'm going to start with a kick this time. So I'm going to double click where it says drums kicks and then a sub menu is going to pop up. It's going to show me all of my kicks. Now I'm going to pick a kick that's called Mac. You can see at the end of the title it says Mac dot mp3. That's how I can identify which sound I'm going to use. I double click. Now track one says OK. I go to the grid and I just click with the mouse on a couple of these boxes here. Alright? Now it's done in 4-4 four, four here. Alright? Now if I press play, all right, I've got a bass, a bass drum right there, a kick drum, all right? Now I want it to go um, boom, 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 all right? So that would be one E and duh, right? And then the red line, and then the next one goes one E and uh. All right, one e and a. All right, same thing for this. So they're four apart. All right, and that makes a pattern. Now I have. All right. Now I want a new sample, so I'm going to go to track two at the bottom where the fader is, and I click on the button that says sample. I click it once, and then the pop-up box comes again. Now I'm going to pick out some snares, so I double click on drums snares. Now I have all of these snares right here I can pick through. All right, I'm going to pick. Now I'm going to put it on two and four. One, two, four, two, four. All right, let's see how that sounds. I'm going to take another sample down here at the bottom for track three. I'm going to click once on the sample button for three. And I'm going to pick a instrument down here. I'm going to pick strings, arco octaves. I'm going to double click on that. I double click. I hear my string, okay? I'm going to just duplicate what's going on with that kick drum. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, all right? So I just put that exactly what the kick drum was doing, I do with the string. All right, now I'm gonna go to track four, and I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna do a string pizzicato. I'm going to do the higher pizzicato. Since it's in the key of F, you got to remember what key it's in. I'm going to go to one of these higher pizzicatos, the higher F. Double click on there. Now I have a high F pizzicato sound. I'm already singing in my head what I want it to do. I want it to go dun 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 dun. All right. First of all, this note on track four is dun and F, right? All right, so I want it to go dun, 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 dun. All right, so every time it does F, I have to input it right now because we're doing all of the F notes right now. This basically is going to repeat. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're done with F. Now we go to track five and I click on sample. And I'm going to use another pizzicato, but this time I want to do a A flat. All right. All right. 
dun 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 dun. All right. All right. So I have that high C. A snare drum. So I'm going to add a snare. So remember, two and four. Alright, just put another snare at the end there and we're good. Now we could put like hats if you want to put a hi-hat on there. Very simple, right? You just gotta click the mouse a bunch of times. That's it.